hi guys welcome back in the react js video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn how we can start with the unit test cases okay so in this video we are going to uh, basically cover up uh, how we can use the just with the react uh, for the unit testing and uh, why we use the unit testing also so now let's start with why we need to unit testing uh, for a basic example let's say some developers are new in your projects and they are just starting the project and they do some anonymous changes they don't want to do that but uh, they can introduce the new bugs because they are newly uh, in your project so for that you can measure that what changes they done with the uh, unit test cases and uh, after the running the unit test cases you can check out that what should be the output of the some specific specific functions okay for example let's say if one function uh, must have to return 100 after the output okay uh, for a basic example so but the uh, after the uh, running um, running the unit test cases again it is returning 1000 so that means that case it should be failed okay and it is failed so and after the uh, one command line we can just measure that uh, what can be happen with this function all right so all these things are we will cover in the uh, uh, upcoming videos now just start with the react.js code all right so this is uh, my just fresh project you can see that i didn't make any changes uh, expect this line okay and this is my test file here you can see that there is some code uh, maybe you don't understand it or maybe you understand it but we will start from very basics okay and this is my output screen okay so first of all i'm going to open the command line and just uh, trying to write one line like npm test and just hit the enter and you will see there some commands are running okay so it will seeing that one test case is passed and here you can see that there is some text render without crash all right so you can find that there is the text okay so but we cannot understand it. what is that so uh, when you are uh, using the command line or you are just use the npm create app uh, for the command line so you don't need to install just separately the just is already built with your projects all right so you don't need to install anything i just install this for fresh project and i just start this command and it will working fine all right so first of all uh, i'm going to remove all these things so just remove it okay because we are going to start from the very basic okay so as we see uh, these files uh, in the next upcoming videos we import the functions we import the classes we import the variables and we will test that but for now we have to go for the very basic so that's why i'm going to delete everything okay so just i'm going to start with the a test function okay uh, i don't know what it want actually okay uh, Okay, so it's my test function. First of all, I will understand. I will tell you that why we are writing this and why what we are going to write. Okay, two plus one is three. Okay, so this is the console that uh, this is the message, but we have to print. And after that, I'm going to take one arrow. And here, what I'm going to write, expect. What I'm expecting here, it's an input two plus two to be so let's just take it two plus one to be three. Okay. So it should be three. So let's check now. Then you are already seeing that this is already run here. Okay. So as we misspell here okay because uh, in the chest the test the test is automatically running if they are in the running state okay so one test case is passed if i'm going to write here four then 
it going to be fail why is this telling that okay this is the message and this is telling that we are receive something expect something but they are not going to match expecting is four but received three all right so it's you can understand it like this in the upcoming video a function is taking this parameter as an input and this is the as a output okay so if they are going to match then it will be validated and if they are not going to match they, then it will be failure okay so this is a very simple case and now just open the just website just.io okay and there is an example that is already given here in the using match okay this is a very similar example here okay uh, in the next video we are going to uh, take some more example uh, with the react js so if you have uh, any confusion with that then you can ask me in the comment box but in the next video we have to attach the functions states variable props apis and everything so don't forget to subscribe this channel like this video and if you have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box okay so thanks for watching this video